I'm going to show you how to build a team from top to bottom to fully flip properties out of state. Chaz and Michelle, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and folks, this is a show where we work together one-on-one, -on -one, right? You get uh, me, you get my team, and we work directly with investors just like you to help you build, grow, start your real estate portfolios, make money in real estate, right? We are headquartered uh, in the Midwest in Cleveland, Ohio, and a lot of folks are coming to this market because our prices are very, very low. We get a lot of folks from the West Coast, and uh, that's what we have today, mother-son team. Chaz and Michelle, you guys are out there in Cali, and uh, you know, it's the second video I'm doing for you guys. At first, we were looking for some rental properties, and you guys, uh, you know, I sent you the video. You kind of liked it, but you felt maybe the cash flow was going to be a little bit too small for what you're interested in, and you kind of wanted to shift gears. You wanted to talk to me about your flipping business. You guys would like to flip some homes out here, and you had some questions, right? And the, the first question you had for me was, how do we build this team, right? Can you give us some insight into the Cleveland market and how we can build a team to actually get this flip done, get the rehab going, get the thing sold, et cetera, et cetera? And absolutely, I absolutely can do that. The good thing for you guys uh, is we can actually do all of it for you, top to bottom. We are your full team here in the Cleveland market. For information on how we do everything, I'd like to send you to a nice resource, right? It's our FAC, right? Just HoltonWise.com, click the FAC, and... Uh, we have facts for everybody, right? We have facts for our tenants. We have facts for traditional home buyers and sellers because we buy a lot of homes out of here, off of people off here. And then obviously we have a fact for real estate investors like yourselves, right? And this fact is going to go through everything that we do here. It's going to cover both the property management aspect as well as like a flipping type aspect and we go over everything leasing everything so what you're going to want to do is take a look at this fact right the very first thing you should do is download our property management agreement right that's going to go over all of our prices and what we do when we flip homes for you there is no renovation that holton wise can't handle right unlike most property managers you're going to deal with uh where you have the property manager but all they do is property management, and then they're just sending you to random contractors. Holton Wise, we have a full uh, construction team in-house, right? We have uh, you know, another entity. It's called Holton Wise Construction. We handle all constructions. We are licensed general contractors, so we can do your entire flip, right? And what we do when we set these up, we handle it just like it's a property management deal, right? Because for us... Uh, renovating a home to do a bird deal, renovating a home to put a tenant into it, or renovating a home to sell. It's all the same to us, right? We're just varying on our levels of, uh, you know, finishes and whatnot, but it's all the same process for us. So you definitely want to check out the property management agreement. The monthly fee uh, that we would charge anybody who's doing property management with us, right? We either take a percentage of the rent or if there's no rent coming in, there's a minimum monthly fee. It's going to be the exact same when we do your flip project, right? When we do your flip project, you're going to purchase the home. You're going to set up the exact same escrow account with us and we're going to send you the bids in the exact same way we would send you the bids uh, if you were a property management client. The only difference is when we're done with the renovation, instead of placing a tenant in the property for you we are then going to go ahead and sell it i'll be the broker selling the property for you and we will sell it and in any situation like with our property management agreement uh if you terminate the agreement early there are early termination fees in unless you sell through Holton Wise. So this is the same scenario here, right? You sign the agreement, but if you sell the property through Holton Wise, there's no early termination fees. So for us, it's going to be all the same. And you just continue going down this fact, and we will explain literally everything for you, the buying process. Uh, but what you guys are probably really interested in is going to be uh, how our renovations and 
are handled and whatnot. So like Valerie will be your main point of contact. And in here she explains to you guys how the bidding process works, exactly when you get the bids. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. We'll do everything for you. You definitely just want to review all these videos, all the stuff that Valerie's got for you guys. Literally every single thing you guys should need to know about us knocking this whole thing out is going to be laid out and we'll take care of the whole thing. And then even insurance, right? Even insurance. We'll be able to take care of the insurance because you still need insurance while you own the vacant property. The worst thing in the world is to buy a property cash and then the sucker burns down uh, mid-renovation, right? That'd be terrible. So we'll handle the whole thing. And again, we're going to treat it exactly like we would treat any other rental property. Only difference is instead of placing a tenant, instead of placing it on the market for rent, we're going to place it on the market for sale. Which now leads me to the actual property, okay? And this property I think is going to be perfect. Because what you said to me, Chaz, you said specifically you wanted to target deals where you can make $20,000 or more. If you're not going to make twenty grand, you are not really interested in doing the deal, you'd like to make twenty grand and just try to replicate this as much as you can, right? So this particular property I thought would be perfect. 5203 Yorkshire, Parma 44134. I actually just analyzed this for another client, uh, but he's not quite ready to pull the trigger. And that's totally okay, by the way, guys. We get a we get a fair amount of people that uh, are doing this, right? Some people refer to folks uh, as tire kickers. Um, you know, hey, I, I feel like that's kind of a negative term that's kind of, uh, you know, it's like making it seem like, you know, a negative thing. There's nothing wrong with kicking the tires, guys. Like, we are charging you guys for this service, so it does not matter to us uh, if you're just buying this to have me work with you one-on-one -on -one to lay out a plan that you may or may not uh, take action on today, right? We're about providing you guys... Uh, with education and resources to get this stuff done when you're ready. So I don't like to call it tire kicking. I have absolutely no problem with the fact that that investor is not quite ready just yet. My team, we're compensated for what we do for you. So if you just want education and you think you have a plan and you want my feedback on if your plan is going to work, don't be shy, man. Go ahead, order yourself a couple MLS search and analysis videos and give me everything you got. Give me your wants, your needs, what you're thinking if you just want me to talk to you for a little bit of time and bring up a property as an example to tell you why your plan is good or why your plan won't work or how you can improve your plan that is totally fine you are under no obligation to actually move forward uh, with the sale and that's kind of basically what this investor is doing he's in the stage uh, where he's gathering resources gathering information building the team right getting familiar with Holton Wise getting familiar with the Cleveland market and that's awesome. I want to encourage that, guys. Very, very, very cheap to spend a couple bucks doing your due diligence up front before you drop $90,000 and end up in a deal that might not work for you, right? So with all of that, though, Chaz, I do think based on where you're at, I think this property is going to work just fine for you. It's going to hit everything you want to do right on the head, dude. You're trying to make 20K. This is going to be like 21 and a half K a profit if it goes down how I expect it to. So I'm going to have you take a look at that footage now. 5203 Yorkshire Avenue, Parma, 44134. Been on the market a little over a week. Eight days. List price, $89,900. This is actually for sale. I am hopefully going to lay this out for my man, Kenny, and I am hopefully going to assist Kenny in getting this property under contract, then eventually closed and sold to him, and then my team is going to do all the renovations I'm talking about, right? So we're putting all this into play in the real world. We're not just going and giving him this education, and then just like, you know, letting him flounder out there, right? This is a real deal, folks. We are a real property management company, real investors, real flippers. I have a real insurance company, real title companies. My guys will be the guys in this property swinging those hammers, pulling those toilets, doing the stuff, right? So as far as the property goes, bro, it's a nice solid brick bungalow, dude. 
I like Parma flips, especially for guys like you. Parma flips are great, right? Our, our, our office is actually in Parma. Parma is an inner rig suburb of Cleveland, right? So we're one of our offices. We have a few offices, but one of them is literally uh, in Parma across the street from Cleveland. So that's how close it is to Cleveland. But Parma, they, you know, this is uh, just a neighborhood we're super familiar with. We're always in there. I actually grew up in the Parma area, right? And what Parma has is a ton of of little 1200 square foot bungalows just like this right it's almost like cookie cutter right i could literally run the numbers on a parma property off the top of my fucking head okay and this one what you see here this this is where you got to put your investor hat on okay because like a lot of people will look at this and think oh man this is good the walls is a neutral color it's it's fresh the flooring is fresh it's good to go not necessarily it's not really good to go okay this does not look like the actual hardwoods to me this looks like they actually put like some type of like vinyl plank flooring over it. I don't think these are the real hardwoods. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think they are. Like you can kind of see the stuff is like popping up. So we are going to factor in flooring into our numbers, okay? And as far as colors, we're going to factor repainting it too cuz once you get to the other rooms, right? They're just they're just gross and nasty. So even though that living room looked, you know, halfway decent, well, first off, a lot of times it might not even be that decent, but it'll look decent in a the picture, then you get up close and it's kind of scuzzy, and then you'll get rooms like this where it's like just you could already clearly tell it's scuzzy, right? We're missing the baseboard, the carpet's disgusting, we got broken blinds, all that crap, right? You could tell this room is jacked but say the other room that i think we're gonna have to do the flooring and i'm gonna go over that budget and i think we're gonna have to repaint it anyway but say for whatever reason it looked good we wouldn't want to just go in and like paint like eight of the ten rooms in the house or something like that the cost isn't gonna go up that much to just get it all done right when we get into the kitchen here we got some issues with the kitchen right kitchen flooring I don't know what's going on here, but that doesn't look good to me. We're going to redo this floor. As you can see, we're missing a baseboard, right? Now, we have some Home Depot Lowe's quality cabinets here. That is cool. We could probably work with that, but we're going to want to swap out our uppers, right? As you can see, they do not match. It appears these were probably the originals. These were some swap outs. And as far as the countertop, we may want to adjust that as well. And like the whole like backsplash, cabinets, uh, outlets, and outlet covers all being blue. That just ain't going to fly. This, like, uh, baby blue and mustard look <laughs> isn't going to appeal to anybody, okay? Uh, another room up here, right? You got, you know, old-looking linoleum flooring. Not going to do well, right? This room, totally redone, right? And then we swing down into the basement. You got some issues here. So let's start talking about numbers, right? The price, 89900 Kenny, I think that's the price you're going to have to put this under the market at, right? You're going to have to put this under contract, rather. That's what I'm trying to say. You're going to have to put it under contract at eighty nine nine. Properties like this, they're going to fly. This is the cheapest single-family home in Parma right now. So we're not going to mess around. We need to lock this son bitch up. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. 89.9 is the price point I want you to lock it up at. Now, I've been talking about some of the renovation stuff I want to do, right? And this is where things get a little tricky because I don't have all the answers for you right now, but we're going to get you all the answers and I'm going to lay out the game plan for you, right? You have to understand, when you do these flips, brother, there's going to be unknowns, right? But I'm going to show you how to navigate through those. The first thing we're going to work with is what we know, all right, thus far. Painting and patching walls. On the low end, I know we're going to spend at least 35 possibly as much as 65 Refinish those hardwood floors. Again, I think there's some issues. Low end, 4K. High end, 6K. Kitchen. We're going to spend as little as 10000 as much as 15000 Then we get into the bathroom. Now, I've shown you here on this chart, i got two options how I like to do bathrooms. We're going to go... Uh, with a, uh, a one piece here and a reglazed tub surround, right? In higher end homes, I want to see like custom showers with like tiles and stuff. But what we're trying to hit in the Parma market, all we need to do is like the one piece reglazed stuff. So we're going to spend as little as three in that bathroom as much as five. So with what that is right there, 
that is uh, what we're going to need to do, what I know we need to do. There's going to be a little bit more, though, right? Cruising down to the bottom, okay? If you see in there, I got 15 hundo for dry locking the basement. I see a little bit, it appears to be a little bit of a mold coming up, okay, on the floor right here. And then there's another picture which highlights it pretty well here, right? You see this, this dark shit right here? coming up all right that's that's like some mold so it appears that we have a damp basement so on the low end we're going to factor in at least 15 hundo at most two thousand dollars to take care of that mold now last picture of the basement again you see you see it a little bit more right here a little bit more right there okay so with what we have thus far dude on a minimum, I am guaranteeing you that you need to spend at least $22,000. Now, if you pick it up at $89,900, because I think you're going to have to put it under contract at that price or you're not going to have a chance here, and we everything goes our way. We spend the low end of what I've told you thus far. We only spend $22,000. The ARV on this house, it's $145,000, no problem. So with the sales commission of 7% and the closing cost of 1%, all in our costs would be $123,500. So you would make a profit of $21,500 if everything worked out and what I've just explained to you came in at $22,000. But there's some things here that can go the other way and that's what we got to we got to work on, right? Now, as far as like the low to the high end for the painting and patching walls, refinish the hardwoods, the kitchen, it's it's going to be real hard for me to narrow that down any more than that small uh, window right now until we at least see the inspection but that's not even going to be the big thing I'd worry about the big thing that we need to worry about right now brother is these big ticket items okay the roof the furnace the AC the hot water tank the electrical panel and the windows we have not received any information on these other than the seller saying sold as is now this hot water tank, if we do have to replace that on the high end, it's going to be $1,000. I can't tell you right now here today which of these items we're going to have to replace and which ones we won't. What we need to do is put this under contract at $89,900, make it contingent on your own third-party home inspection. The inspector's going to spend about three, four hours at the property going over all these things with a fine-tooth comb, running the furnace, running the hot water tank, checking everything out, right? Is it fair to assume that we're not going to need to do anything to the roof furnace, AC, hot water tank, electric panel uh, in the windows? No, probably not. We're probably going to have to do some of those. Uh, well, actually, let me clarify. I don't think we're going to have to do the windows in this home. The price point we're trying to hit, we usually don't have to replace windows in our Parma flips. But the other items, right? The roof, the furnace, the AC, the hot water tank, the electric panel, okay? 6K, 3K, 4K, 1K, 2K, right? Those are the max prices. At this moment, I don't know of those what we need to do. So that's going to be when we renegotiate with those sellers, right? So we try to put it under contract then. And then maybe when it comes back after we review our inspection, maybe we realize our furnace, our AC, our hot water tank, and our electrical are all good, but we have an issue. The roof is all jacked up, right? So we have $6,000 that that's probably going to cost us, right? If everything was all jacked up and all of the cosmetic stuff ran to the max, right? The deal wouldn't make sense at the current price because you could spend as much as 50500 but that's unlikely, but we don't have that info till we review the inspection report. But let's just say the only thing different than what we have currently is a $6,000 roof, right? We're contracted at eighty nine nine. If you wanted to move forward, right, you could, right? Because right now you're slated to make 21500 right? If you had to do the $6,000 roof, You'd make a profit of 15500 That would be cool, too. That would be acceptable. Another thing, though, is we can go back to that seller like, yo, hey, go ahead and give us a $6,000 price reduction because the roof's bad. We didn't know that before. Now we know the roof's bad. And you'll still hit your profit margin of 21500 right? So 
What we want to do is try to make approximately 15 to 20K on this deal. How it's all going to shake out, it's, it's a little bit uh, out, out in the open right now. It remains to be seen, right? Because there's a lot of money there between those things, right? We got 6,000, 3,000, that's 9, plus 4, 13, 14, 15. We got essentially $16,000 of unknowns, right? If it turns out those unknowns are all messed up, right, and we have to replace them all, and you still bought it at the 89.9, it would, you know, be a profit, but it's a tiny profit, 5,500, not really worth the risk, right? So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go back to the drawing board and negotiate with the seller. Perhaps it comes out that there's $10,000 of stuff we have to do, and maybe you take a $5,000 haircut and only profit about 15, 16 K. And then the seller takes a $5,000 haircut. That's what we need to do, right? But right now to lock it up, to make sure nobody else can get in there, we got to go full price, 89.9, get that inspection. And if I had to guess, I'd say we're probably going to be somewhere in the range of doing half of these things. But again, without a full third party home inspection, that all remains to be seen. But what you shouldn't do, Kenny, is assume that all of these items are going to be brand new because if they were there would be no rhyme or reason for the seller selling this at such a basement price in parma wouldn't make any sense right we got an arv of 145k you're going to have to do a little bit more than slap in some new cabinets and do a little bit of paint right so i think we're probably going to do half of those big ticket items so my man i thought this would be perfect for you nice easy cookie cutter flip for my team we're very familiar with this market i see no scenario where i do not hit the projected arv of 145,000. all right chaz michelle Thank you for watching all that. Let me know if you guys would like to move forward on this particular property. We'll go ahead and put that offer in for you. Of course, make it contingent on a third-party home inspector. Uh, if not, do what you did uh, on the last video, right? You guys gave me all your criteria. I made you a video. Chaz, you, uh, you watched the video. You took all that information. You said, hey, man. Uh, based upon everything you got, I'm kind of shifting gears here. And then you gave me two things you wanted, right? One was... Uh, Potential rental deal uh, where you're making at least $800 a month in cash flow, which, you know, unless we do some uh, some bigger buildings, by the way, I just want you to know that that's, that's, that's kind of a tall order, right? I know you want the higher cash flow, but a lot of the properties in the Cleveland market with these low prices is going to come some lower rental income, right? So to get a spread that big on like a, a two-family home, it's, it's probably not going to happen. You're probably going to want to cut that number uh, in half, unless maybe you want to look at a bigger apartment building, which we can absolutely do if that's what you're interested in. And then the other thing you said, hey, I'm also interested in doing some flips that are going to net out approximately $20,000, which is why I sent this one to you. So uh, if you want to do the deal, man, sweet, let's do it. If not, just give me the same type of feedback you gave me last time, and uh, I'll go back to the drawing board. And when I make your next video, I will take all that into account, and you know we can go whichever direction you'd like me to go. Everybody else, uh, if you like working, uh, if you want to work with me in the same way Chaz uh, or the other investor who I originally looked at this property for, uh, if you want to work with me just like those folks are, you want to have our team handle all your renovations your property management your sales in the cleveland market we can do that for you go to holtonwise.com click the property search for sale tab click the mls search and analysis show and order yourself a package of mls search analysis videos after that somebody from my team will reach out to you to get all of your information your wants your needs your goals your risk tolerance what your plan of attack is and uh, then we'll take all that feedback i'll produce a video for you and then after the video, we either move forward on that deal or you give me more feedback and perhaps we change directions. One other thing, if you're doing flips, if you're trying to make money on flips, I highly recommend you get the bigger packages because flipping is a numbers game. No guarantee that any of these deals are going to happen, right? They make money. A lot of people would love to put an extra $20,000 in their pocket. So being a successful house flipper, it's a, it's a numbers business, guys. You have to analyze a lot of properties and you got to put in a lot of offers, right? It's not like you just pluck 20 grand off of a tree and it's just sitting there wrapped in a bow ready for you. Not 
practical. That's not how things work in this business. And that is my number one thing, right? With Holton Wise TV, I want it to be the most transparent and realistic real estate show out there. A lot of people are giving people fluff and a lot of information based on theory. We don't do that here. We have to back up our theory with actual deals because we are an actual real estate brokerage, actual real estate investors, actual property managers, actual construction company selling you actual properties. So I am only going to tell you what is realistic. I ain't giving you that fluff. And if you don't believe me that I call it like I see it, take a look at our Tenants from Hell show. We show you guys some of the worst stuff there is out there because this ain't an easy business by any means guys you can make a lot of money i have made a lot of money but it is definitely a very tough business so that's it that's enough rambling out of me if you are a first time viewer and you're not turned off by all this rambling and you're not scared of the stuff you see on the tennis from hell show do yourself a solid and smash that subscribe button because holton wise tv is real estate investing made easy This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry, certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year. You get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. G'day everyone, it's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in, so when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.